WTF, Whiskey Today's Fact. I get asked sometimes, Colin, I got a little more than $100 to spend on a bottle, but I don't have more than $200. What are some bottles you'd pick? Well, here are my top five bottles you can get between $100 and $200. Now, if you have a chance to come across the single cask release from Kilkelman, well worth the investment if you're going to open them, because why just stare at it? And uh, these are Isla's but they're extremely flavorful. They cost a little over a hundred, but the Kilkeman single casks, well worth the money. Now, the Bowmore, pronounced Bowmore like bow and arrow, right? The 15 year old, the darkest. Again, a little over a hundred dollars a bottle, but worth it, especially if you like that classic Isla Pete flavor, like I do. Now this next bottle might surprise you. The Glen Farkless, what might be surprising is its 25 year age statement. And you're saying, Colin, but we said between one and $200. Correct. For about $180, this family owned distillery releases these sherry bombs. Worth seeking one out. Great whiskey from a great company. Speaking of great whiskey from a great company, the McAllen, their annual classic cut release. Here in New Hampshire, we get this bottle for $129. Now you gotta pay a lot of attention because it's a small allocation, but when it's released, you drive to the store. I drove two hours the other day just to get this for $129. You should do the same. And the final bottle that I would recommend for between one and $200 is the Balvini. They're single cask sherry finish. These are labeled and identified by the cask and the bottle number. Some folks feel these are a little too sherry finish, but it's worth checking a few different ones out. We can get these in New Hampshire for $139. Well worth the money, especially if you're a sherry bomb kind of person. My choices for the top five bottles for between one and $200 here in New Hampshire. And that's whiskey, today's fact, the water of life. Mm-hmm.